between the left atrium and the left ventricle. They're very similar. Similar, but not identical. Then you got a valve that what? Guards the opening into the pulmonary trunk, and you got a valve that guards the opening into the aorta. Okay? So let's do them. The ones between the atria and the ventricle. I'm going to do the left because I only have two hands. The right, there are three flaps. See, the left has one. Two flaps, that's why it's called what? Bicuspid between the left atrium and the left ventricle. And the right is called the tricuspid because there were three flaps. Okay, watch what happens. Do the three again, right? Blood is entering the what? Atrium. Right side from the vena cava, the left from the lungs. And the blood goes through the atria. You with me? These are open. See my hands? Right into the ventricle. And then the atria, when they contract, they squeeze what? A little bit more blood into the ventricles. Now it's the ventricle's turn. The ventricle begins to contract. What happens to the pressure of the blood? Increases. And it gets behind the flaps, and it does this. See what the flaps do? They come together to prevent blood from going where? Back into the atria. On the left side, instead, we'll do it in a minute, it's going to open the valves to the aorta. On the right side, we have, give me a hand, one hand. Hang it. Come on, ready? We're going to do a tricuspid with one hand. Come on. So the blood is what? Just like this. The blood's coming where? From the atria? Mm -hmm. Now, right? Now the ventricles begin to contract, and what do we do? No, no, come towards me. See the three flaps? One thing is, do it again. See the three flaps? Do it again. Okay, so when the ventricle is contracting on the right side, we're going to what? Bring the three, three flaps together to prevent blood from going where? Back into the right. Atrium. On the left side, we only have two flaps, but they come together and prevent blood from going what? backwards. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at this. Yes, this is really going to shock you. We just want to look at the right side. They're already showing you here. This is okay. They're showing the bicuspid. See the flaps? Here's one flap and here's the other. Right? See them? And you notice they have strings attached. You see the strings? And here are the flaps when they mark. Close. So what are these strings? You gotta know that. The strings are called chordae. Tendinae. They're really what? Very thin tendons. And tendons connect to muscles. Am I right, mm -hmm. folks? Yeah. And on the inside of your heart, you have little teeny muscles called papillary muscles. You know why they call them papillary? Because anything that looks like this, see, these are the strings, right? it's called some papillary. Papillary means nipple like. So here's the question. Why do I have these muscles and these strings attached to the flat? And here's the answer. Some of you may have this problem. 
When the ventricles contract, I don't care whether it's right or left, and the flap flap come together, what if the flaps did this? Are you watching? Ready? Tell me if this is a problem. Open, normal, close. Close. What if I did this? Open. Is that a problem? Yeah. I push the flap where? Up in towards the atrium. It's, if it's, and it's usually on the left side that that happens. It's called a mitral, which is another name for the bicuspid, and that's two names, prolapse, meaning it what? Went into the atria, and then what? Some of the blood is going to go the wrong way. Are you all with me? Does anyone have that? No? I usually have one or two people that have it. it, it most of the time, it's not a problem. I'm going to tell you 